Hi everyone, hope you're all well. I am fantastic as always. I'm here today to do my July favourites. Now before I start, I have a few things to explain. One, the weird noise you can hear is my lovely cat who decided that he wanted to come sit on my lap as I started to set up for this video. So that's okay, so if that's what you can hear, that's what you can hear. Two, this video is going to be shot in two parts because I live at two places and some of my July favourites are at my mum's place and some of them are here at my dad's place. So I just thought I'd share what I have here with you. Now first of all, I'm going to start with something that I'm wearing. Number one, this cute little bunny earrings that I found a few weeks ago, probably two weeks ago. Um... I really, really like bunnies, and if they weren't illegal here in Queensland, I would probably have one, but I don't. Um, so yeah, that's what I bought, because I love bunnies. Excuse me for a second, I'm just going to pin this back, because it's really, really annoying me. It will be in no particular order, but first I thought I'd start with the most amazing thing that I got this July. Now as you can see I've ombre my hair which is really quite damaging. My ends were feeling were feeling really terrible. They were dry and dead and disgusting. And then I found this. The Lee Stafford Bleach Blondes Treatment. I love this stuff so much. I can't recommend it any more than what I'm just about to. So basically, before I used it, I was like, my ends felt horrible, that horrible strawy feeling that you get when your ends are just dead from bleaching. Um, and then I thought I'd get a hair treatment just to put in once, as there are many on the market, but then I saw this one when I was buying some stuff from Priceline. And I thought, I'll give it a go. And it's just a slightly purple colour. You can't see that though. It's a slightly purple colour. Um, and then you just leave that in your hair for five minutes after shampooing. And it is just a godsend. So thank you, Lee Stafford, for making something for my hair. Number two. Number two is the Loftane Lavendee. Well, it's a foaming bath. And it smells, as the name suggests, like lavender. And it, oh, it just smells so good. I love it so much. I have this and a little itsy bitsy moisturizer. And I also have a hand wash in my kitchen that I decided not to bring in. This stuff smells amazing. I definitely recommend it. It is quite expensive though, I must say, but oh, it smells so good. Mm. Keeping with the bathroom stuff is scum, I think is the way you pronounce it. This is the foaming cleanser and it is it just feels so nice on your skin. It's totally 100 percent natural. They also have the facial facial moisturizer, which is nearly empty. Um I've probably been using these for about a exactly a month and they smell so good and if you're in Australia they're on special now at Priceline so go get them I don't know if you can tell but I really like them. this one which I'm gonna go is for my very dry lips which is the Lucas's pore pore ointment it's made near my house kind of kind of about 15 minutes away um, my skin is really dry all the time and I find this stuff the best for my lips and I also use it on bits where I get really dry, dry, dry skin around my body. And it is the best stuff you will ever buy. Mm, recommend. I got this this month and I also did it in my haul, my makeup haul video. It's a Napoleon Ultimate Contour Palette. Oh. It comes with a contour, a contour colour and highlight, which is a contour bronze and highlight. And it is just the prettiest and best thing I've ever bought. It's all in one pretty little palette and I'm wearing it right now. And I love it. The 
blushy is more of a nighttime blush though. They do have other um, versions of this palette in different colours and shades, but I really like this one. And I still use, do use the blush during the day, I just don't use as much. The next thing is also from Napoleon. It is the Napoleon Foundation Stick. This stuff is a godsend. It's like a concealer and a foundation all in one. So it's got really good coverage and I really, really like it a lot. Next one is the Falsies from Maybelline. This is raised about all over YouTube, so I thought I would give it a go. I'm glad I did, because I like it. As I said in my last video, in my makeup haul, I do find it to be um, quite clumpy. Um, but I found a way to do it. That's not as much. I start from higher up in the, my eyelashes instead of lower down, where I usually would start and work my way down. And it's so pretty. I love that as well. The next thing in my July favourite is the Real Techniques brushes. Probably my two favourite ones are these two. The stippling brush and the multitasking brush. I use these two the most. This one for all my powders and this one just for my foundation and working in a concealer that's not working my way. Love, love, love these brushes. And they're so soft. Oh. Love these brushes. Recommend 100%. The next thing, and the last thing for this house, is the Impulse Love Puzzle. I'm going to spray a bit of this on now because it... Mm, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a, a florally awesome one. It, it kind of reminds me of the limited edition Paris ones they had out a few years ago. I love this so much. Hi guys, welcome to part two. So basically before I start, yes, the lipstick is too much. I understand that, um, but it is a bitch to get off. I'm even going to go there. So basically, these are the things at my mum's house that are, that belong in my monthly favourites. So number one, Burt's Bees Lip Balm. Amazing. Just like the Lucas's Pool Pool Ointment, I love it a lot because I get dry lips. It's really handy. I keep this one in my bag and I put it on when I wake up and before I go to sleep and I just find my lips have been a lot less dry. Number two is Tresemme Thermal Protection. Now, this stuff is great. Tresemme in general is really good. I've used them for a couple of years and I use them, I've used the shampoo and conditioner, not now since I've ombre my hair, um, but I used to use it all the time. Because I've ombre my hair, I need protection because straightening and curling and blow drying your hair is really damaging so I decided to get some heat protection great stuff last but not least I got this from a friend on my birthday it is Husk Harmony Tea and it's such pretty packaging it's not in here because you know I took it out to use it I'll actually go get it to show you it looks like this and it looks so pretty, like it's got all different colours in it. Um, I really like it. It tastes really nice. I'm not a massive fan usually of herbal teas, but that one's really nice. And yeah, so Husk Harmony Tea. Pretty packaging. Lovely tea. Anyway, that is it for my July favourites. Hope you enjoyed. I hope this video is a bit better than my first one, but it probably isn't. Bye!